Kleider, Bekleidung. When it comes to clothing, you should pay the most attention to high-level functionality. Don't forget on high alpine tours, you climb out of the valley, where it's often very warm, and head up into glaciated terrain. This means you need to be prepared for a wide range of temperatures, and you should always bear in mind that the weather can suddenly change. That's why we use the onion principle, which means having several layers of clothing you can put on and take off. However, it's important to wear layers that don't need to be put on or taken off. In other words, layers that stay warm, even if they get slightly damp. Let's start with your boots. Functional climbing boots for high alpine tours obviously need good soles, should be rigid enough to take a cramp on, have lugs at the rear for a crampon fastening, and a Gore-Tex lining to make them waterproof. They shouldn't be too heavy, since you'll often have a long approach walk where it's dry and where you could probably wear sneakers. This is actually an excellent high alpine touring boot for regular glacier hikes or glacier tours. Next, as already mentioned, it's important to have clothing with a high degree of functionality, so soft shell materials. These jackets and pants are ideal because, most importantly, they'll keep you warm, but you can move well in them and they're still robust. And if the pants and jacket are fitted with reinforced material around the ankles and sleeve cuffs, then soft shell clothing is perfect for high alpine tours. But since you can never rule out the possibility of a sudden drop in temperature, in fact it's bound to get cold, an insulation layer is essential. I carry this layer at all times. Or you might encounter a sudden change in the weather, so a thermal layer is indispensable. And while we're on the subject of storms or a change in the weather, a hard shell is really practical, lightweight and very useful when it rains. It keeps you dry, so you stay warm and can keep functioning efficiently. And just a word about underwear. For me, it's ideal to have something I can wear all day, something that will keep me warm even if it's slightly damp and that also feels soft. The items I keep in my backpack all year round, things I almost consider part of my emergency equipment, are gloves and a beanie. And when you're moving over ice, you may want gloves that are a little bit sturdier with reinforced areas because firm snow can be very rough and rocks may have sharp edges. In general, Clothing is extremely important when it comes to efficiency, your comfort, and your safety. Don't buy cheap gear. Equip yourself with the best materials you can afford. You'll reduce the weight you carry and increase functionality, and your high alpine tour will be much more fun.